Hey guys, this is Cedia coming to you live all the way from Times Square, and with me I have uh, Guillermo and Elias. How's your love life? Um, you know, it's interesting. I have plans for Valentine's Day. Hopefully, hopefully they work out. I'm talking to some girl. Oh, okay. Tell us more. You can't just leave us at that. Uh, well, her name's Virginia. Um, we've been talking for a little while now. We went to Chicago together. That was fun. Oh, but, yeah. uh, and we made plans for Valentine's Day, so hopefully yeah. you know, it turns into something. Are you going to ask her to be your girlfriend? If things go well on Valentine's Day, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm living. Okay. And what's your plan to do it? Uh, so we plan on going to Cheesecake Factory, and then after that, uh, we really don't know, probably go back to my house and watch a movie. So. Yeah. How did you meet her? Uh, in high school, I actually met her like three years ago. So, so this is a high school sweetheart. <laughs> kind of, kind of. I was dating another girl at the time, but we, oh. yeah, oh. yeah. Oh. Uh, we may have had feelings for each other at some point. So uh, how does it feel to like actually be with someone that you wanted in the past, you know, to finally have that? Um, it's weird because, you know, you think about like it could have happened, but maybe now is a better time for it to happen, you know? Yeah. Like maybe if it had happened earlier, it wouldn't have worked out. You know? So what's the best thing that you have to offer in a relationship? Um, I think commitment. Like I really pour myself into somebody else and um, I try my best to make them happy. So how do you keep that commitment and trying your best when things get hard and you don't want to anymore? You know, you just have to understand that um, times get tough but emotions change every single day, right? And some days you're happy, some days you're not, but you work through it. Yeah. <laughs> and what about you? What is something that you are very thankful for in your life right now? Um, I'm thankful for just being alive. Like, yeah, I recently got in a relationship and like, he was my ex, but we're together yeah. again. So like, it's really great. And like, yeah. I'm in love, so I'm <laughs> so happy. <laughs> So, what happened that made the relationship end, and what made you guys decide to start again? Just things at the time. I was starting college, so I had to do that. And yeah. But now we're both in college, and so we're both living life. We, we're growing, so yeah. we realize that we have similar goals, and we want to make it work. So. so, how do you have that commitment to decide to work on a relationship, which people see it as so fun, but it's actually such hard work sometimes? Yeah, so like... That was like one of my biggest things. Like I was struggling for so long to see if I actually wanted to do it, but yeah. I just really like this guy and he's like so sweet and everything. And I realized like, why should I just keep pushing it off out of fear of it not working instead yeah. of being happy with him in the moment, so. Oh my God, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> you. Clearly I'm single, so I'm living through you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what relationship advice would you give to the viewers right now? You can go first. <laughs> Just do what makes you happy and pick a person that makes you happy and you really feel a connection with. So. How about you? I actually agree. I think that um, if something makes you happy, you should go for it and not be afraid about what other people will think about it. So how do you get over that fear? Because sometimes people want to be like in a relationship with someone, but they're scared of what other people will say or like think. At the end of the day, they're not living your life. Yeah. You're living your life, right? Yeah. You're your main character, right? So you have to just take that leap sometimes. All right. And <laughs> what would you say to anybody who's single right now? How are you going to help them through, you know? You know, it's tough because there's a pandemic. It's hard to meet people. But as long as you focus on yourself and you do what makes you happy, you'll find someone who makes you happy while doing that. Oh, <laughs> word. Oh, my God. Let's quote that. How about you? Um... You'll get your time soon enough. You'll get it. It'll come. Just don't rush it. Just live your life in your moment. Be happy, and it'll come when it comes. So. All right, and this is Acidia Sanio, GLE TV. <laughs> wow, that was so good. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.